Hey everybody, this is not a spring check, and I know as we are getting close to Thanksgiving, I don't know about you, but oh gosh, wouldn't it be fun to be in Texas for F1 right now? Oh, well, maybe you're just getting ready for this next week for Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, this morning they said that the, that the Republicans have finally grown up and they understand that they will be totally responsible for us going off the fiscal cliff unless they agree to raise taxes and then in return they ask them, well, what are you going to exchange for the tax? Well, we can't because there's too, much, there's too many people that are in need. We need the Republicans to raise taxes and then we'll discuss about things in the future and no, it's, uh, they said for some reason the president and Democrats think that, um, that they won the election. No, they didn't win the election. They kept, the status was kept at quo because the people didn't want anybody screwing around with things. And another one, 10% more people dislike Obamacare today than they did during the election. And Obama mandate grows. Oh yeah, the, that mandate now is over uh, foreign policy. You know, he's basically going to be more friendly to the Muslims and less friendly to the Jews than he was before, which is hard to imagine. He's in the middle of a dictator's tour. He is uh, going to raise fees on everybody. They said the tax rate is going to go up to back to the way it was under John F. Kennedy before he gets done with raising taxes on people in this country. And that 40, Bentley, this is Bentley Obama, folks. You know, another example that what happens in Las Vegas doesn't stay in Las Vegas. Um, they, they said that um, the 47 percent that aren't paying taxes, well, you're not going to pay ta federal income taxes, but boy, you, if you get food stamps, you're going to pay a fee for it. If you get health care, you're going to pay a fee because you weren't paying. If you couldn't pay it before, it doesn't make a difference. You have to pay it under the new system because the uh, problem with socialism is everybody pays. Mm-hmm. And man with strange watch arrested at Oakland Airport. Oh, God. I mean, they, 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 there is no such thing as a strange watch. Has anybody seen what watches look like today? Mm. I mean, there are no such things as a strange... They make them in every size, shape, and that you can imagine. In fact, my, my, my little, you know, little BD had a dinosaur watch. Would they call that strange? Mm-hmm. Probably. And, and JC likes fossils. Mm-hmm. And women in Petraeus scandal had visited the White House. Isn't that amazing? Well, well oh. because they're both supporters, all of them are supporters of the president. Um, the, they said what caused the problem was one of them wanted $80 million to keep quiet. $80 million? Yeah, she sort of busted. Mm. And wanted, like that was never going to happen. Wanted $80 million for what? To keep quiet? tell people about something that never happened. That's, in other words, doesn't that count like blackmail? Um, well, no, she, she went to the FBI oh. uh, and, and uh, told the FBI she wanted, I think, she, she just wanted $80 million not to blow the whistle on the Obama administration. That's Chicago <laughs> politics, folks. Oh, gosh. And what happens is if you don't have a winning hand, you end up like, she'll, she'll be the only person to go to jail out of all of it because they were wanting her on, um, they basically are trying to get, hit her on a charity fraud right now. That's what she needed the money for her to cover that. Oh, oh, yeah, isn't that great? oh boy. Um, yeah. And Walmart files U.S. labor charge um, against the union. Oh, yeah. Walmart is just laying it down because they're trying to destroy the company unless the company will join a, a, an Obama approved labor union, which is SEIU, -S which had absolutely no clout in this last election. And Obama is showing, he's tossing all of the, the, the unions under the bus right now after they had this great meeting because there is no desire for all of these companies to pay higher labor prices and there is no desire upon his court system to hand businesses over to labor unions because people, they're Wall Street, they're owned by Wall Street companies. Well, all businesses are owned by Wall Street companies unless they're private folks. And Christy smells set up, won't answer the Twinkie query. Oh yeah, because he's a Twinkie lover. The problem was is that the, 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 the Baker's Union actually thought that Obama would step in and order the company be turned over to them, which was their only hand they had to play. They put 18,000 people, that's the company itself, 18,000 out of work. It had nothing to do with the vendors. 
has nothing to do. The Teamsters Union offered to come in and pick up 25% of the cost themselves to get people back to work. No, they, they, uh, the, they, they okay, uh, Obamacare makes pastries illegal. It doesn't make them illegal. It's just you're not supposed to sell them where people can see them, which is under the counter. Well, that's like going to McDonald's and you can't find the price for French fries. Because the, I know because they don't want you buying French fries. You can't find you can you can supersize. Okay, you can go into all of these fast food places. You know they have my, my items that they sell that are no longer on their menus because Obama does the proof of them. But yeah. it's not the Mrs. Obama says we don't want it to be we don't want adults not to have it. We just don't want children, so we don't want them on menus where children can see them. <laughs> God. And teen charged with felonies after four die in New York crash. Oh yeah, well somebody, you know, what you do is you, if you're not supposed to be driving, it's a, if you're driving without a license and you kill somebody, it's called a felony, folks. You go to jail for that job. And judge sides with company on contraceptive coverage. Yeah, they're basically now going against Obama saying the Constitution gives you the right of religious freedom. And if your religion, uh, the Catholic religion forbids providing contraception. You do not have to pay for contraception for somebody. And they said that if you don't like it, you can just simply go to a company that will pay for your contraception. And they also said that, the, what the Republicans, they said that uh, that it, it's going to cost you $9 a month to pay for your own pills, ladies, is what they said. And police, man plotted attack during Twilight movie. Yeah, uh, this is ridiculous. I mean, he, He's been plotting since the first movie came out to kill people, and you and, and using a Twilight movie, uh, you know, as an example of how to kill people. And China slams a distorted view of copyright piracy problem. Well, yeah, because most of the, most of the piracy, most of the stuff that you get that's done illegally all comes from China, folks. <laughs> okay, the trick is, if, if anything, they do not show. The same prints of anything that is shown in the rest of the world in China, because they, they if when the print when when the print or music comes out of China, then they know where it came from because mm -hmm. you can't trust the Chinese. Which here's the thing, Oliver Stone uh, the other day said that there is no his, there is no record period of the Chinese ever being aggressive or ever stealing any product from anybody. What? He's getting very old. Who's this? Oliver Stone was saying that. He's uh, making a movie about the benefits of being a, a Chinese citizen. What is he being paid? This is being paid by the Chinese government? Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll yeah. Have, as soon as his career tanks like it did Christian Bell's. Christian Bell may be the only Academy Award winner to never benefit from winning an Oscar because he did this. He got paid by the Chinese government to make a propaganda film for the Chinese government, and it basically hurt his career massively. If he didn't have Batman, he has no career now. And China's Alibaba Group um, second quarter net profits doubles SEC filing. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know Alibaba was Chinese. I yeah, thought it was they owned, like basically Indian what or happened something. Is that Alibaba was owned by the Chinese? They couldn't because they couldn't get it to be used out of China. They sold fifty percent to Yahoo. Then they bought the 50% back from Yahoo and basically charged everybody more in China to use it. <laughs> <laughs> well, free enterprise, right? Yeah. Obama, Americans voted for tax hikes on rich. Um, what? Yeah, okay, the, America did not vote for tax hikes on rich. The, uh, and they said the people that voted for Obama voted for tax hikes on the rich. They say, well, the majority of the people uh, all feel that the rich should pay. Here's the devil is in the details. When they talk, when you ask the people, even the poor people that voted for Obama, what they consider to be wealthy, it's a million dollars. It is nothing between 250000 and 990000 They consider a millionaire, to, unlike the president of Democrats, they actually consider a millionaire to be a millionaire. Oh. And which is where Obama has his problems. And they said that the Republicans special capitalized on it, but they said, most of the people running the Republican Party were the morons that supported Romney, so they don't have a yet. <laughs> and New Yorker easy New Yorkers easier communities welcome a post storm progress. Yeah, the okay. The private sector is doing all the heavy lifting in New York because the government of the state is not very good. But they are getting fifty billion dollars from the United States government. Uh, from the stimulus money that's still left over so that they can pay the union workers 
that are not being paid because there are no jobs available for them because all the damage that we've done, they don't do that type of labor. So they bring in laborers from another, other states to do it. And Congress comes back Tuesday to confront Fiscal Cliff. They're not going to confront anything. They already know the Democrats only have one thing. We're not going to cut any programs, but you're going to have to raise taxes on, the, on millionaires and billionaires. And uh, like they said, the, the, okay, the Republicans are more than likely, the Republicans are going to give $800 billion in, tax, in new revenue. They're not going to raise taxes. They're going to take deductions away on uh, people making a million. See, Schumer is on the Republican side. Schumer says deductions on one million dollars. He's not saying increase taxes. He said you got to take all of these deductions away. They don't need deductions for health care. They don't need housing deductions. They don't need this deduction. So when you take those away uh, by the Democrats' own standards, you get eight hundred billion dollars, which is exactly what they're trying to raise the taxes on the millionaires and billionaires at. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, actually, this is an old movie, but sometimes the devil is in the details. See?